Dr. Campbell, thank you so much for coming here today. Uh, this was our sixth and last Ethos Farm Days event for the season. And of course, I know people drove, flew, ran from all over the country. They were texting me last night, asking me if they're Ubers that go to the farm from the airport just to hear you speak. And um, I just wanted to thank you for coming here uh, and just let you know that uh, you know, you're one of the uh, seminal inspirations for why this farm exists in the first place. Uh, and when I read the China study, um, it became clear to me uh, from your holistic view of what health consists of, that the healthcare system had to be reconstructed in the form of a farm, because I know that's where your roots are, right? From the Absolutely. farm. Well, uh, your sentiments are, it's mutual. I mean, I think what you're doing here is uh, the next step, obviously, well underway now. And so I really want to congratulate you for what you're doing in that sense. Um, you know, the idea of the, of the farm, holistic farm, whatever, nature, the whole thing. I mean, as you know, that resonates with me, coming from a farm. So what you're, you're doing, you're restoring my early life mm -hmm. in many ways, uh, for me. And, and, the whole idea of, uh, you know, oh, starting out with the cell and working on that and figuring out the chemistry and all that sort of stuff, that's one thing, but then to ever higher levels, you know, of uh, complexity. To the macro level. Then you got the macro level. you got the, the farm, the food, the medicine. Right. What else? Mother nature. Mother nature. The forces of nature. Yeah. Not just from a cellular level, as we <laughs> enjoyed right. so much from your talk, but from the sun and the wind yeah. and the birds and the I water. Did. I just happened to see it at the cellular level first, because that's where I was living, and then realized this enormously impressive integration of, of the symphony, essentially. Operating at the level and thinking, well, cells talk to each other and back, bigger, bigger. Pretty soon, why don't we all work together like that? And why don't we work with nature? I mean, it's, you know, the concept. Yeah, I never, in my wildest imagination, I have to tell you this, I never dreamed as I was reading the China study late at night that I would be sitting uh, a few years later in the middle of a farm in an old farmhand's house where I see patients and the inspiration, you, for this arrangement would be sitting here right in front of me in the, in the waiting room. It's, it's almost surreal to me. Me too. Uh, I mean, really, uh, the whole idea of bringing medicine to food and farming and so forth and so on. I mean, uh, what I'm thinking about it from the sort of historical scientific point of view, the one became very reductionist, working on one little thing at a time. That became our medical system. And in the farm, it's really about nature. It's about everything, producing food. And so they've, been, they've not been joined. That's why what you're doing, that's why what you're doing, you know, you're, you're getting a hold of this philosophical construct, if you will, the holism in, in nature, farm, and that, and matching it up with medicine, which needs this kind of information. Yeah. Definitely. So, and so you can discover then, as we do, you can discover, wow, food's got some stuff in it that can do this. Yeah. So it's bringing, it's bridging, it's bridging the gap. Perhaps it is time that we be more concerned with. Uh, the short, our short, short term existence on this planet, even more so than eating plant based foods for our own individual health, right. because it perhaps is the most urgent matter that is before us. Could yeah. you speak to that? Yeah, it really is. There's so many ways. And I, you know, the amazing thing for me, at least, and just during my lifetime, I have seen the changes that have occurred in agriculture. They're incredible. You know, uh, what I knew as a kid, it was, it was, like they said today, it's a lot of fun, it's family orientation and stuff like that. But with all the uh, industrialization of the process, uh, it's really taken, taken a human element out. It's not paid enough attention to nature. That's what you're doing. You say, let's go back to nature, let's, let's work with that idea. And so, uh, and I, I think, you know, this whole is right. You got decided about it. You can work from the cell to groups of cells to organs and on up the line and communication and all that. Uh, and so uh, when you get that, I've also wondered if the cells talk to each other, work so well like that together and the body works together, 
why the devil can't we as whole people work with each other the same way? Why, why can't we have this conversation? Like, you know, that regardless where the people are from and what, you know, ethnicity they may have, we come together and we keep all sharing this idea and the planet. Finally, we get to the level, the highest order of things. And if we don't pay attention to our home, it's well, going to be gone. So, towards that end, um, you know, we have been inspired to take the words that you speak and actuate them so that we actually, um, they're actually, we're doing something to address these problems of agriculture, of environmental degradation, uh, and human health. So we formed um, an entity called the Ethos Farm Project. And uh, we were so excited and grateful because the Ethos Farm Project has been fiscally sponsored by your son Nelson's uh, brainchild, which is Plant Pure Communities. And uh, the Ethos Farm Project consists of three components. Uh, number one, these Ethos Farm Days that you graced us with, your presence today, uh, where the public comes and um, there comes to the farm, has a beautiful day on the farm, uh, has a tour and uh, an understanding and education as to how good food should be grown without harming the earth. Uh, we then have a patient lifestyle experts panel where someone who has actually eaten this food and, and, and uh, maintained a plant-based lifestyle has overcome all their difficulties. We then have a keynote speaker like yourself that delivers a wonderful message and then everyone breaks for a wonderful community plant-based potluck lunch. And we've had hundreds of people here today for this. That's the first component. The second component is the, the Young Farmers Incubator Program, where we take young farmers, bring them onto the farm, give them land, educate them, and have a farmer teach them. And the third, third component is taking the last chunk of our farm that has been conventionally f uh, farmed with harmful methods for the past many decades and restoring that with native grasses, prairie grasses, to its original state, and then measuring the drawdown of carbon from our atmosphere. And we, we have reason to believe that uh, over a period of time that this may ultimately be the, the greatest answer to reversing climate change. Those are our three components, and we base them on really those, on those philosophies that you have, of starting with the small levels, which is putting the seed in the ground and then building up to the right. overall you know, concepts. One of the things that I, I've been thinking about too is uh, the Ethos uh, Farm Project. Uh, you know, what it's doing, we've already talked about that a bit. And, and now with the fiscal sponsorship of plant pure communities, sort of tagging on, coming in, involving that, uh, we're really onto something kind of big. And it's expansive, it's got borders that can go outwards, uh, and, of course, we always need support for this kind of thing. And uh, I think that, uh, that because that's what we're talking We're talking about something really wholesome, big. The, the pod concept, people talking to each other how to cook and all that sort of thing, getting with the nutrition, your Ethos Farm Project, in turn, is a natural uh, connection. It's just it's worked that. beautifully. Yeah. And so I, I just want to compliment you for having made you and Jody making that work. Thank you. And uh, you know, people can go to visit our website, ethoshealth.org, and uh, click on, on the home page. You'll see uh, Ethos Farm Project. Um, you can click on that and learn all about how you can get involved and support the work we're doing here. Yeah, I, I just see this. It's, it's almost a natural, the growth of this idea, becoming more expansive, and certain parts of it becoming expert and detailed and so forth. Yeah. yeah.